All right guys, don't, don't, don't flip out because I'm not wearing my hat. So today's video, we are gonna go up, uh, have to take a shower and get changed. I, we're gonna go up to my friend Jake's shop up in Mira Mesa. He's another San Diego based knife maker. Uh, so we're gonna go up to his shop and talk to him for a little bit. And my friend Chris from Cerberus Knives is gonna be there. It's just gonna be a fun day. It's kind of the, one of those introduce a new maker kind of things. So yeah, Jake's, Jake's a good kid. Uh, he does pretty good work. I'm not using the, the gimbal or anything, but yeah. So I'm gonna jump in the shower and we're gonna head up there and we're gonna shoot some video up there and maybe look at some of his knives that he's done. If you're wearing on headphones, turn down the volume because here comes music. I'm up here at Jake's shop. Uh, this is this is my friend Jacob. He makes uh, he makes knives. He's a up and coming new knife maker. He makes some pretty cool stuff. So what we're gonna do today? Kind of uh, not gonna do a real knife video. We're gonna just kind of look at some of Jake's stuff and have him talk about it. So okay, that's what you wanted the the cold steel Gurkha Kukri. Yeah, they don't make them anymore. Yeah, they they started making them in uh, 01, like before they completely canceled out or whatever. But all right, so you've already seen Jake. So I'll introduce you to Jake. Jake uh, makes knives here. He's uh, he makes them in his house here, mm -hmm. and uh, he's making some cool. Man, this garage right here. Hey, it, you know what? <laughs> For what you're doing, that's that's pretty much all you need. Yeah, pretty much. So uh, yeah, I used to be on this table in my dad's house. I was on a corner in his garage, and this table on that folding dad's table, dad's that work dad's table. Yeah, my drill press was on the floor. <laughs> Yeah, I was like sitting yeah. like this. Sounds like cold steel trainers. Is that a is that a hockey stick? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, that thing you could. It's a it's a head it's a cold steel boat paddle. So Jake, let's look at some of your knives. All right, so this is the one I just finished up recently. Uh, I make a model called the Chickadee, which I like, is uh. Like, I like this. If it wasn't going to customer, this would be a video we'd be doing. So we're yeah. So this is now. the enlarged version of the Chickadee that I make. Uh, this is. The third V ground blade that I've done. Well, you did a uh, good job of it. This is a eighth of an inch with a double hollow. It's got a canvas green micarta and a brown linen with the uh, orange G10 liner mm -hmm. and uh, black G10 pins. And then I just did like a bamboo texture on it. Nice. Yeah. The so bolsters too, right? Yeah, first bolster as well. Which I fucking absolutely So did you make hated. did you make this material? Did you make this handle material? Yeah. yeah. I mean, so you, you you pinned it separate and then. Yeah. So I just I just sandwich everything together, uh, just with the as liner. is like as a as a sheet, which uh, I still have some excess, I think. Um, so basically, it was just a little sheet that I had. Hang with on, the line I'm on trying to bring sheet. this. This thing's on. Uh, it does not. It's real slow. Yeah, the lighting here is shitty. So yeah, it's okay. This thing does pretty good. So that's that's just. So yeah, basically it was just a little square. Oh, okay. So you used your line. All right, you sandwiched it on the liner and yeah, used yeah, it. Okay, exactly. Which makes it much easier instead of just trying to put it directly in the knife. So. And then you got some stuff that's here on the counter yeah, that's so, in progress. Yeah, these are in progress. I just need to shape the handles out and whatnot. Uh, yeah, clean it up and get it to the actual tang. But uh, that's a little duo. There's one that I uh, repurposed. Is this a one-off? Yeah, just one just off. a one-off. Hey, look. Don't make mistakes. Pile, his work pile of cutoffs. For... His work counter looks like the trunk of my car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I got a fucking scale drill press for like 150, the shitty ass uh, bandsaw. For like 150 bucks too. Yeah, right? yeah, probably even less than that, honestly. It's got a little eighth inch saw blade on it. Hang on, that guys. Sound deal with cartoon sounds. So, and so are, are you doing, <laughs> you're doing flats. Are you doing any hollows yet? Or are you just. Yeah, I do hollows. So that, that one, the chickadee is. Is, is that a hollow? Yeah, a hollow V? Uh, two hollows, which is honestly easier to do if you're doing V ground for sure. Um, I've flat. never done a, I've never done a V grind hollow. So, or a V, uh, I've never done a hollow at yeah, all. So, so I may come up here and borrow your. When you're, when you're grinding it, it feels like a puzzle piece. So you get it to the proper depth or whatever. And, and it just it locks kind of, it in. It just sinks it in. So it's easier to control the grind. With a flat, you're kind of just going off a of site more so than yeah usually. well if you can get a nice flat you can keep it on that flat yeah. but it's yeah. getting that without yeah. all the facets and using 
using a eighth inch stock, which is mostly what I use, it's uh, it's harder to get uh, to feel it out that way. If you're using like three sixteenths of an inch or whatever, mm -hmm. it's uh, you have more to work with. So you you you'll have that like aggressive angle. Yeah. And you can feel it out better. But if you got an eighth, you don't have much time to uh, yeah. get to the angle you want it to be at. You know. And so, okay, question I got though is, is this one of yours? Yes, that's like one of the first knives I made. <laughs> Still so that was ground on like a Kalamuzu or whatever the f And uh, basically it's a, a zero grind that I didn't even try to zero grind, but that's <laughs> what I got, so. That is freaking cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Your first knife looks way better than my first knife. It looks yeah. 10 times better than my first knife. <laughs> yeah, but you're not that good, so. <laughs> ah! I'm not really a knife maker, right? I'm a knife designer. Yeah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. The Orion came out great. Yeah, the Orion. Well, that's all artisan, man. I got yeah. it right here. Well, yeah, but the, you did the design, so it came out great. I mean, because it's a good design. So, Chris, yeah, Chris is here. We've got his Orion. I want to get one of the production ones when they when you get some samples of the production yeah, ones. I'm waiting the, to do a video on the production samples for the designer and the uh, the dealer samples have just come in, so they got a little they got stuck a little bit in the customs. But not not the deviate from what we're talking about, but so here's the the O1 that's like Blanchard ground or whatever, or precision ground, mm -hmm. which makes it a lot easier uh, for cleaning up. Yeah, because you're so, you basically your surface finish is done before you even yeah, put it in the Yeah, pretty much. Oven. So all I got to do is sand it to 120 or whatever I do the flats on before yeah. I uh, aft it. Actually. This is uh, my NQA model. So that's, Darren has one. That's what you're looking at. That's the one that There's Darren one has? has? Yeah. yeah. So that, that's the one with the compound ground. So I like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. That's so that's nice. got like a nice deep hollow and then it's got the flat towards the tip with a flat swedge as well. And then for the swedge, I grind it on the the bottom wheel right here. So this is a little two inch. Oh, little nice! Bit, so. Yeah. So, I so you, get kinda, a, you get a you get a tight, you get a real tight hollow. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, it's a it's a flat because I grind it like this. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I just got a. Oh, where's the hatchet? Hatchet's in there. I think. Uh, a hatchet. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look at this little so, hatchet, little bitty hatchet tomahawk, EDC hawk, whatever you want to call it, but. Uh, I told I told Jake that that should be his logo. Like he should have two of those crossed and then the with JG. a JG yeah. underneath, oh, yeah. like in the, in the thing, kind of like uh -huh. I did with the cross swords for Crazy Sharp on my that so, you guys see down in this bottom corner down here as the water. This one is compound, but these are actually just two different flats. It's just two different angles. So I just mm -hmm. kicked this one up a little higher. Then this is uh, a flat, and then this is a flat as well. Nice. I like this thing. It's super cool. Bro, I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie. I think I think I like the, of all the ones you've shown me. I think I like this one the best. It's nice and thin. It's comfortable. It's not cramped in my hand. Mm -hmm. And you, I'm not gonna lie. For, for only having done a couple of focus, for only having done a couple of of V grinds, you did a really good job on it. Oh, like yeah. that's a good V good. grind. Yeah. Killed it. Is this the NKR? Yeah, it's NK. That's like one of the first ones I did. So it's all shitty. That's also an APO. I wish we had Darren's here to show off. That, that one's super. Well, cool. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. That's attractive, and it's nice and beefy. And why are you yeah. focusing on Chris as opposed to nah, the okay. knife? Where's the fat boy at? The blue one. Uh, that one's in my like collection. Here, we'll take that out. Here's some more cutouts. This is. Dude, that's I'm a, that's excited a, for this one. I, yeah, but it looks awful flimsy. Look, look at it. It's <laughs> all wobbly. Yeah. yeah it's paper stock. They run pretty thin, so you know. Yeah, paper stock. How do you heat treat that? Huh? Uh, I don't think you can. You like, just rub gonna... it together really hard, you know. <laughs> yeah. Put it in your hands and rub your hands real hard. Heat treat's done. Yeah, let me get that fat boy. Yeah, he's got a fat boy in there too. Oh. So this is uh, another one that you made. This is a fat boy. This is the first fat boy that I made. It's a uh, this. So this is chisel hollow. Here's a flat. It's got satin spine and tang. Uh, Terra tough blue cheek. Blue G10 liner. This is that Terra Tough stuff you were telling me yes, about. Yes, this is Terra Tough. Like, it's amazing. It's like frayed almost like a towel. So when you squeeze it, it just gets grippier and grippier. And it comes like this. Oh, nice. For yeah. the guys that haven't seen it. So it comes in a sheet just like my Carta, but um, it's different. It's more flexible. It seems a little bit more impact resistant or shock resistant. And yeah. when, it, when you grind it, it like chunks off. So yeah, it doesn't get that fine powder like, uh, like Micarta or Rich Light. 
I hate that's one of the things I hate about grinding like G10 and my mm -hmm. card is yeah it makes such G10 a mess. G10 it just fucking spray. It's everywhere, everywhere. and I mean it's you so still bad. you still need to you still have to wear I would still wear a respirator. Oh for sure yeah yeah yeah. But yeah, yeah. that, this that is stuff a... like I'll tell you what I wear a full face respirator with the with the 100s mm -hmm. the the uh, you know the the P100s. And and the NIOSH approved, and you still, no matter mm -hmm. how, you still get yeah, when you're yeah. doing G10, you still nose, get yeah, it's black stuff. Some, some but black it's stuff so much there. better for you than some of the other stuff. Jay works a lot of materials too, so you got a whole bunch yeah, of so different that's things. That's Greg Hanson and Sons. Um, oh, G Carta. Yeah, those guys do good stuff. Yeah, he does great stuff. Something that I never see anyone else use. Few people I've seen use that. Uh, oh, that would make a some, that would make a hotliner. Can oh, you yeah. can you imagine doing green uh, the green grill in the dark uh, uh, fiberglass twill and using this as a liner? Oh my, yeah, that would be. You'd never lose that for sure. Oh, dude, yeah. I I did one in green green twill glow in the dark twill for our friend Pip Corona. Uh, you guys have seen it, Ooh, and it's all oh, and it yeah, glows it, it glows so sharp. But the thing is, it's got like it's the twill has layers of black mm -hmm. and then layers of the glow the moon glow powder in the in the resin with the green uh dye mm -hmm. and so what you get is during the day you get black and green and then at mm -hmm. night when it glows yeah we get done with this i'll show you a video of it okay but yeah guys i mean like jake where can they find you on uh i mean because you got i'm on instagram at uh jacob creates also jacob creates underscore finish it's just like all my finish work like nicer looking uh a uh, page or whatnot mm -hmm. and uh facebook i think it's just jacob ginsburg which is spelled j-a-k-e-b g-i-n-s-b-e-r-g so it's basically jake with a b at the end a lot of people just call me jake b because they think that's my last name <laughs> well i'll tell you what we'll definitely i'll make sure that i put uh put that information in the uh description. the description yeah. below so for sure all right yeah yeah, but no, that's that's cool. And I like one other thing. You have your design book. Like you do all these designs, you just draw them out on paper yeah, and I then just sketch it out and then I cut out the paper and then I'll trace it on there or I'll make uh make templates. I'll use a piece of uh Tracy. to make a template or whatever or I'll use some thin G10. Or get a piece uh, of, does that. Yeah, get a piece of G10 templates so Yeah, yeah. Have them. you have you ever thought about doing it like you could trace it out on you know the the transfer paper that they use for doing tattoos? Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, I know you do. Mm -hmm. yeah. You could probably <laughs> use that and see if you could kind of do that same thing and then go like you'd be able to like put in a line like scratch yeah, along right. that line and then put your your die chem on it and then scratch it again yeah, and you'd have yeah. a template. I need to get die chem. I don't have any of that stuff. I just get a use die chem a, pen. A Sharpie. Die chem pen works really well. Really? Yeah, okay. we've got one at the shop. Next time you come by uh, Ferrum Forge, I'll show it to you. Yeah, so. Yeah. What else? Mm, Focus! Yeah, I have some uh, Westinghouse that I'm going to work with soon that I really I want to punch. I want to punch you for saying that out loud. <laughs> I love Westinghouse. Oh, yeah. Hey, little dog! It's essentially just like old cheese. Like, that's pretty much how it grinds. Just yeah, like, yeah. Like old cheese with that, like, whatever bacteria layer on the top of it. Yeah. And you grind through it, you get to the light. Yeah, layers. it's so, like some of the yeah. some of the white Westinghouse, it, mm -hmm. it gets that almost like butterscotch or, or yeah, like a yeah. tannish yeah. color. It looks great. There's a Japanese. Remember the Japanese dude that I introduced you to from Hawaii? That did the old white Westinghouse. I can't think of his name. He's right. always at the nice. Yeah, you and I went over and talked to him. The guy's yeah. great. He's from Hawaii. I can't think of his name. You guys are. CCKS? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember the first yeah. year we all went to CCKS? Yeah, yeah. Back 20, was that 2019? Yeah, it was 2019. Yeah. yeah. I wish I would have brought in some of my stuff that I have from Jake because some of them, I don't know if he has a, the fat boy out here still. You, uh, Jake, do you still have the fat boy out here? Uh, yeah, it's right here. Yeah, okay, there it is. I love his Kydex, man. Look at how cool, like he's, it's always a new, a new flavor too. Like you, Darren's. You hold it at one steady spot, I could get a video of it. <laughs> so I know Darren has one that looks like leather. This one's got like a twill, almost uh, like carbon fiber kind of weave oh, to it. Oh yeah, it's like the texture. Yes. This thing's really irritating me wanting to focus on everything but what I want it to. Yeah, so here's all my cutouts actually. Prototypes. Um. Yeah, so this is a piece of G10. This was like one of the first designs that I did. Mm -hmm. It's not so good. I kind of trashed it. But uh, here is the JC Slim 7s because they are 7 inches overall. The Tanto and the Drop Point version. Um, this is my yellow jacket. I like that. Uh, kind of like a self defense CDC blade. Here is my Dill Pical, which is just a little <coughs> tiny Pical. It's, it's a kinda, Dill Pickle. It's, exactly. Yeah, it's just a play dill on pickle. Of, uh, pickle Dill stuff. Pickle. Dill Pickle. Here's the fat boy. It's an MQA uh, right there. Here's the MQA. I like that. That is it. That is a really nice. 
And the thing I like about it, a lot of times like these knives that have um, the, the clip point blade, they're just all belly, almost mm -hmm. like a, a, like a, a, a Persian style. Mm -hmm. And I like, I, like I said in a video about some of the knives, I like to have a flat before it goes up and mm -hmm. that gives you both. You have the yeah. flat and mm -hmm. the belly. Yeah. I have yeah. this one right here. I have the actual. So that's the original JC Slim. Oh, yeah. wait, up, 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 oh. wrong direction. There it is. It's like flying a plane. So it's just a small Warren Cliff design. Made basically as a neck knife. And I like how the, the angle of the, the edge when you're cutting. Just, you, you know how I feel about small worm nice. clips. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. This one's awesome. I carry this one pretty regularly in the pocket just because of how small it is. Now, cool. And then I have to get this one, which is going to be turned into a straight edge pical. So the grind's going to be on the back side here. So you can do a little nice. grappling hook, whatever you want to do with your pickle. Nice. Oh, I, cool. I, I mean, that's cool. I mean, because you're offering that. I'm not a fan of pickle knives because they mm -hmm. really just, I don't, I don't have a need for them. They're not something that I. Yeah. It's, it's very specific. Yeah. Like it's, you a, either it's, use it for self-defense or you use it for nothing at all. Like, yeah. So. Oh, here's, well, I, here's the chickadee. This is the chickadee. So that, that one that we were looking at, that's just a bigger version. Yeah. Of that's just chickadee. a large chickadee. Basically. Yeah. I like it too. Yeah, that's pretty cool. The actual. Yeah. This is an actual chickadee. Yeah. yeah. Get a good size comparison, maybe. Yeah, that's. Yeah, know. that's. Yeah, it's a template. And that's gonna look nice once you finish that up. Well, all right, Jake. Let's oh, continue yeah. to have fun and we'll stop filming. Yeah, that way we can actually do what we want. But yeah. guys, like I said, follow Jake. I'll do an outro on this and we'll talk about it. I'll make sure all that info's in the uh, in the thing. This was just. Oh, excuse me, in there. This was just kind of a, a just an impromptu video. I wanted to make sure that like Jake does good work and it's. One of those things where, let's get this in focus, where, you know, it's one of those things that he's local and I can definitely come up and shoot a video and get him out in front of okay. at least like several hundred people. Mm -hmm. So I don't, not all of my subscribers watch the videos, but they do. So, and this is like, everybody think, seems to think that you need like this huge over the top shop with so much stuff. But I mean, like this is basically what Chris and Elliot would be doing if they were one, make, making one knife at a time, one grinder, one drill press, one cutout wheel. I mean, the reason that and there's so much stuff at the shop. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The reason so. that they're like, you guys see that there's like three or four drill presses up at Chris and Elliott's is because at one time they were doing runs of 200 in the shop. So if you're doing knives one at a time, like Jake is, this is all you need guys. Or a few at a time, right? You, or a few. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, I do, I do five or six a week and yeah, but you know what I mean? Like you're not doing like runs of 200. No. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, that, not, so. no, yeah. I'm not looking at Alex Steinberg yeah. stuff. So yeah, speaking of which, Steingraber too. We you definitely got to get with yeah, that guy. we got to get with him. So yeah. all right, guys, I'll do an outro here just shortly, and I will talk to you all later. Jake's local, so I'm able to come up here and was able to shoot this video. I had a little bit of time today. I'm not working on anything. I am going to give you guys a big warning and ahead of time. There's going to be delays with sharpening and things like that. And if you have a knife I'm making, I am in the process of selling my house. So that means that my my workbench and all that stuff is going to get packed up. I don't know how soon it's going to be, but I'll definitely let you guys know if you have stuff that's with me or stuff you have ordered, because I still do have some orders to complete on making knives. It's just, it's been really hard to even be able to do it, uh, you know, time and belts and all that other stuff. So guys, I love you all. If you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down, but please try to tell me why. If you really like the videos, there's an applause button where you can donate directly to the channel. And if you want to get in on some of those giveaways, like in the intro says, if you want to get on it's giveaways and things like that, that I do and the, the exclusive content, uh, there's a membership tab right below. So go follow me on full30.com as well. I am in the process of shooting an exclusive video for full30.com stuff that I can't shoot here. So love you guys. Take it easy. I'll see you in the next video.